corrupt us. If you really believe in something, it can be yours. That's how we've been conditioned to think. Mostly, I suppose it's a coping mechanism to keep us from eating the rich. We all think we'll be rich someday if we just want it hard enough. How long has it been since there was a good old-fashioned culling of the wealthy elite? That probably wasn't a good way to start this blog post. I'm more than a little tired, but fuck it, I'm leaving it. Corruptus. That was the subject of an email I received before my ISP dropped me. My phone turned into a brick the same day. Hell, I think that it was the same precise moment, though it's difficult to know for sure since I only tried it after my laptop couldn't connect. Corruptus. I'd never heard that word before, and to be honest, I'm not exactly sure it is a word at all. It could be Latin. It sounds like Latin. I've never been able to look it up, and this is the first time I'm getting on the web since my unexpected removal from the grid. I tried to sign on at the local library, by the way. My card was revoked. Unpaid late fees for books I had never read, much less checked out. Mostly borderline fetish material and self-help books for various mental illnesses. The apparently quite detailed tome on weapons of mass destruction seemed to be the most concerned for the librarian. I hung around the library for maybe a half an hour, until someone left a computer logged in and unguarded. When I went to check my email to tweet a complaint about what had happened, those accounts were gone as well. Honestly, I was a huge dumbass for expecting them to be there. It wasn't long before I noticed the computer's rightful user pointing me out to the front desk. I guess she wasn't a fan of the direct approach. I was out of the door before anyone could cause a real fuss. It's been over two years since I left Mowgli's palace and never looked back. The original blog post has come and gone so much across so many sites that I can barely even remember the first place I tried to host it. If I'd know how far this would go, I don't know if I would have been able to hack out that clumsy, flawed account of what happened. The pressure would have been too great, and I suppose there's a certain level of comfort in the idea that no one actually will see or care about your work. It seems like a lot of sites removed the information either upon direct request from Disney or, or on their own fear of reprisal. I know a pretty popular YouTuber who pulled readings of my post from his channel. The rumour was that someone threatened to sue him, the supposed author of the story. Bullshit. I know firsthand that he took it down in a bout of pants-shitting fear when he realised Disney's connection to his partner company. I tried to keep up my after-abandoned blog for a while. I don't know how many people out there saw my notes on Room Zero, Club 22, and so on. They're still around if you look, at least at the time of this writing. Yes, Club 22 exists. No, it's not a typo of Club 33. I learned later on from the same contact that there is an 11 as well, and supposedly the debauchery only grows as the number gets lower. I've heard of a Club Zero, but I can't confirm... But I can't confirm that as clearly as I can with the previous contact. I also don't know if it has any connection with the room of a similar name. Yes, the door probably said characters or cast members instead of mascots. I know, I know, I hear you all. Thank you so much for that. I'm sure your memory is crystal clear in moments of abject terror, right? Overall, I'm glad that my words have spread so far and wide. But the downside is that so few of you are taking this seriously. I can't stress this enough. Treasure Island? Real. The Utilidors? Real. Just because you can't substantiate the rest doesn't mean it's a cool story. Instead of picking up the inaccuracies and making games about how cool it would be to have been in my position, maybe people can start taking this seriously and digging into what's going on. Maybe? I don't know. I don't want this to be a rant. I want to stay focused and make sure I post exactly what I wanted to make public. All of the stress, the stalkers, the phone calls, the broken windows, I know that it's all supposedly to keep me off track. They want me confused, scared, and most of all, they want me quiet. There's a team of men and women in suits that I've seen at random times, here and there. I call them the focus group because they pop up with clipboards and pens taking notes about everything I do. They all have the same outfit, 
the same thick-rimmed nerd glasses and the same red pens that just scream, we're judging you. The first time I noticed them, they were following me through the mall. I looped and turned, trying to be sure that they were following me, and there they were, every step of the way. Days later, I spotted them again in the laundromat window across from my new apartment. I chased one down once, the tubbiest one. They stayed silent through the entire chase and even the scuffle that ensued. When I wrenched the clipboard from his hand, I found only page after page of off-kilter random gibberish coupled with crude Mickey Mouse silhouettes, all in the same red ink. I know it sounds insane to say that a group of men and women in black are following me and taking nonsense notes, but I think that's the point. I think the idea is that it should drive me insane, and if it doesn't, you'll still think I'm crazy just for saying it. It's a no-win situation. I will forever regret that trip to the Emerald Isle, but on the other hand, I will always be grateful to the people who've come forward anonymously to share their experiences with me. Whoever mailed me the suggestion box from the resort is basically my hero at this point. To read what I'd written about the place and still brave the journey, wow, I can't imagine how that felt, whoever you may be. You even left the original corroded lock in the box so that I'd know it was legit. To do all of that without even taking a look inside for yourself, that must have been really hard. Thank you. If you haven't noticed, I'm treating this post a lot like my final instalment. There's a reason for that. I don't know how long I can keep subverting Disney's attempts at silencing me before some sort of final action is taken. I have no doubt that somewhere, at this very moment, someone is using my identity to commit a crime that would discredit me. That, or the men in white jackets are about to show me what a lovely little padded cell looks like. I don't know what's going to come out of this, and that's the worst part, I suppose. All that I know is that it's coming. So what is Corruptus? Well, as I mentioned, it was the title of an email I received. One that was presumably deleted along with my account. It was blank and seemed to exist for the sole purpose of placing an attached text document in my hands. Too bad for the powers that be, I had already printed it the moment I saw it. Not much they can do to reverse that, can they? I should have mentioned, remember that library? I used their copier to run off a few thousand duplicates of that letter. A few hundred are stapled in random places, a few hundred were passed out to random people, and the rest, let's leave those as a little surprise. Have fun trying to stifle that, you horrible mouse fuckers. Without any more rambling, here's the letter, word for word. It arrived from a source whose email address I won't disclose, though I assume it's an untraceable dummy account anyway. Summation of Corruptus Incidents for January 2015 For office use only, this message contains information that may be confidential or proprietary, as protected by the attorney-client privilege of our work product doctrine intended solely for the use of the addressees as named above. Any review, disclosure, distribution, copying, or use of the information by others is strictly prohibited. If you have received this message in error or without authorization, please advise the sender by immediate reply and delete the original message. All emails sent to this address will be received by the Disney corporate email system and is subject to archiving and review by someone other than the recipient. Violation of this disclaimer, as written, will result in prosecution. Please refer to official guidelines with relation to known and unconfirmed incident reports. Respect regulation as per ongoing and or finalised designations. Known corruptus incidents up to and including January 2015. Treasure Island. Extreme agitation, inappropriate activity within vulture population. Mild to moderate agitation, inappropriate human activity. Resolved corruptus, unidentified avian species. Abandoned. Final. Disney's Pop Century Resorts. Misplaced and mobile objects. Chronological displacement, anachronism. Unresolved corruptus, wandering entity. Pending. Disney's River County. Microorganism infestation, unresolved corruptus, clear man, aka see-through man, 
aka Friendly John. Abandoned. Final. Image Works, the What If Labs, second floor. Multiple missing persons reports regarding Dreamfinder's School of Drama. Pin screen fatality, vibrating mirror sickness, unresolved corruptus, wily wizard installation. Abandoned. Final. Mowgli's Palace. Auditory hallucination and or projection. Misplaced and mobile objects. Moderate to severe agitation, inappropriate human activity. Unresolved corruptus, inverted character. Abandoned. Final. The New Global Neighborhood. Resolved Corruptus, Fiber Optic Worm, NGNC1. Resolved Corruptus, Digital Howl, NGNC2. Resolved, Repurposed. Room Zero. Sudden Onset Mass Hysteria, Auditory Hallucination and or Projection. Unresolved Corruptus, Unknown, Contained, Final. Please note, Nara Dreamland is not an officially licensed Disney park and no information or resources are to be shared with any responsible for containing its residents. The complete list of suspected Corruptus incidents and reports may be available. It took a few readings before I could get my head around this. Essentially, if the attached file was to be believed, then the events I had experienced were not part of an isolated incident. The events within Room Zero, the Gascots, they seem like part of a much larger problem. What is Corruptus? Corruption, I mean. I don't need to run Google Translate for that. Even if I felt like I could take a break from writing without the risk of someone finding and disconnecting me at any moment. Corruption of what? Dreams? Ideas? Desires? I've never been a religious man, but I was dragged to Sunday school more than enough times to know about golden calves, false gods created by man, icons, graven images, characters, mascots. If you believe in the Bible at all, and I'm not sure I do, especially not after what I've seen, then maybe God wasn't angry people worshipped other things. Maybe he was afraid. Maybe if enough people believe in something hard enough, there's a chance it will come to be. Since we're naturally flawed beings, that means there's a very good chance such a thing would become corrupted. If you think about it, Disney's animated films have always come with one overriding message. Clap your hands and believe hard enough and Tinkerbell will live. When you wish upon a star, anything your heart desires. People like to say Disney has some connection to Satanism, but I never bought into that. I still don't. I think they've been trying to create the Golden Calf, a god idol that everyone believes in. One that everyone loves. It's almost as if any dream or idea that is shared by human hearts and minds has a real chance of being born into the world. The creatures, if any exist beyond what I saw with my own eyes, I think they're deformed half-starts, random manifestations of some dark, quantifiable non-life that seeped into our state of being. They're mistakes of reality, cosmic abortions, the corrupted. Did everyone in Emerald Isle harbour such negative impression of Mowgli's palace? How potent was the fear of nuclear war on the Day Room Zero became full? If you want to find Gascots and mystery voices, does that search bring about the very thing you're looking for? How many children have been disappointed, confused, or scarred for life when they saw Mickey without his head? These are questions I'm never going to be able to answer. I don't know if anyone can. Speaking personally, this will probably be the last time I talk to you about Disney and everything I've learned about them. I'm truly sorry for that. Especially since there's so much more I could say. Unconfirmed rumours, documents and items I received that now seem to be gone forever. I thought they were just trying to contain the Mickey costume. I thought that's why they went out of their way to keep the public in the dark about so much. Why they coerced and bullied to get their way? Now I realise I was wrong. It was this all along. They didn't want anything like this getting out. I wish you all good luck, and I know I need the same from you. Thank you.